Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the All For People's Brunello Cuccinelli collaboration, the Mr. Brunello Folding Sunglasses. But first off, in today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 50 millimeter lenses and a 22 millimeter bridge. And as we can see here, they definitely have vintage inspired Wayfair styling to them. They look absolutely beautiful in my opinion. I really, really do like the look of these frames. Now, like I said, these are a folding pair of frames, so they're going to easily fold up. Uh, so all we have to do is bring in the temples just like this. And what's really cool about these folding temples is the hinge is actually angled, so it actually kind of flares out and then in, and it does make contact just a little bit with the front of the frame, the ERS does, and it's going to make a tiny bit of contact there. So potentially over time, it's gonna scratch just a little bit, uh, which is a little bit annoying. So if they didn't have this angle, Angle here, there's no way that it would even get past this at all. Uh, so it's a little annoying that it rubs, but not that big of a deal. It's still very, very easily pop it in and out just like that. Then of course the middle is going to fold as well. And it all folds down to this very compact and nice looking pair of frames. So I really do like that a lot. Now, as far as the exact colorway that I have in today's video, these have our people's El Mirage, a tortoise, a absolutely beautiful looking acetate frame. I really, really do like uh, this colorway. Then they also do produce these frames in two other colorways. One of them actually even has photochromic lenses, but these are all people's shale gradient lenses. So they're darker here up top and progressively get lighter. And I absolutely love the look of these lenses, but these are a category two lens. Uh, so they're not going to block a ton of sunlight like a category three lens. They're not going to be great for extremely harsh and bright sunny days, but you can definitely wear these indoors or like an outdoor party that's in the shade and have absolutely zero issues and just look really classy and nice when doing so. I really, really Really do like the look of this lens but again for like a uh, harsh sun environments like the beach or something like that you're not gonna want to use this lens for any uh, length of time if you can avoid it uh, now if we take a look at the outside temples of frame we can see some absolutely beautiful etching through the tortoise uh, acetate which looks really really nice and then we can also see the metal hinge and that looks really good and has etching on it as well just a really classy looking pair of frames with this etching and then here on the front we can see the metal accents here uh, which are not just there for show they're actually what attach the frames to the hinges as well it's also going to be found right there. Just a really good looking pair of frames without any gaudy logos or anything like that. The only logoing on the front of the frames is going to be found behind the ear, so you really can't see it. We can see there's an embedded Our People's logo here on the outside left, and then here on the outside right, we can see a Brunello Cuccinelli logo that's embedded into that and looks really, really beautiful, and it's there for authentication purposes, and it's there just for you, so you know that it is an authentic pair, and then of course it also is that uh, collaboration between our peoples and Brunello Cuccinelli. Now, as far as pricing goes, these frames are going to cost you $783, which is definitely very expensive. And if you do get the photochromic pair, I think that's about $830 or $840. So definitely a very, very expensive pair of frames. I think one of the most expensive pair of frames that our peoples uh, actually does produce. So definitely uh, expensive here. You're definitely paying a little bit more for the Brunello Cuccinelli uh, collaboration and also also for the folding features, making a pair of folding frames is probably about twice as hard as making a pair of regular frames. There's a lot of work involved in the production of these frames. So it definitely helps justify the price tag a little bit. And I believe the Mr. Brunello that is non-folding is about $200 cheaper than the folding variant. So if you're looking for something with this exact same styling, but you don't care too much about the folding aspect, uh, the regular one might be for you. Personally, I like the folding pair uh, because of the extra uh, metal hardware on the temples. I think it kind of breaks up the more monotonous uh, temple, even though it isn't, I guess it's not monotonous because it does have this beautiful etching here, but it's just, you know, normal for our peoples. Uh, having this metal hinge really kind of breaks it up and looks a little more classy because you got the extra burst of silver and shiny material. Uh, so I really, really do like folding frames. And for that reason, I actually wear the folding variant of the Ray-Ban Clubmaster all the time because I do love that just a little bit of extra metal accent. I think it does uh, make the frame 
lens look that much better in my opinion. Now these shale gradient lenses are an all glass lens and they're going to offer very good scratch resistance so they're going to be very durable and they're also going to block 100% of UVA and UV rays as well which is extremely important for your eye health and of course both these lenses do have the Breathe logo in them as well. This one has the All People's logo and then this one has the little uh, cityscape for the Brunello Cuccinelli. Uh, so two different breed logos on one pair of frames and that is definitely really cool. Now I do have some pretty big complaints with these frames as far as the build quality goes. Here, if we take a very close look where the frames actually meet, we can see there's a little bit of gap where our peoples uh, didn't perfectly produce this and they're just not perfectly lined up. And when you're spending almost $800 or $800 if you get a photochromic pair on a pair of frames, you definitely expect it to be absolutely flawless. Now, when you put them on the face, you definitely can't see that gap. It looks pretty seamless. Uh, but when you take a closer look at them, you can definitely see that it is not perfect and that is a little bit annoying, again, when you're spending that kind of money. Now, another thing that I th find really, really annoying about these frames is the fact that both the fronts are actually made out of a different sheet of acetate as far as I can tell. So basically, if you take a really close look, we can see how the left side is actually completely different from the right side. Typically, when you make a pair of folding frames, you try to use the exact same sheet and you just cut it out there in the middle. But here we can see it doesn't look like it blends at all. It looks like it is completely different. This pair of fronts look like they are completely made out of a different sheet of acetate. So completely different. It does blend well, but when you look at it really close, you can just see how the grain does not uh, follow any symmetry or anything like that. So it's definitely a different sheet. And because of that, it kind of adds a weird look uh, once you know what you're looking for. And you can just see those hard stops where the grain kind of just stops and then starts. It's just really weird how our people did this. Now, I don't know if I got a you know pair that wasn't a great quality control or what happened with this pair. Maybe the other side got flipped with another frame. I really have no idea. But of course, it's an authentic pair of frames uh, and, and they are weird. So it, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you can get a pair that's going to be perfectly lined up or maybe you're not going to be able to. I do know one way to, of course, avoid this would be to get the a black coreway because of course with the black coreway you're not going to have grain or anything like that so you're not going to notice a difference there and again from far you can't notice it either it's just something that's very annoying when you're spending $800 on a pair of frames you really want it to be flawless and these certainly are not. Now the last big complaint that I have about these frames of course is the weight. These frames come in at 53 grams so they're a very heavy pair so after wearing these frames for a couple hours you're definitely going to feel some discomfort on the nose and then on the ear rest as well, but there's no getting uh, by the weight of these frames uh, because they're just a thick uh, acetate pair with all glass lenses, so they're going to be heavy and you're just going to kind of have to put up with it. But because of that, you do get a really special and beautiful looking pair of frames. So it's definitely not the end of the world, and they do have that folding functionality. So, of course, you can easily fold these up and then put them in your suit jacket pocket or maybe a, a pocket of a button down shirt or something like that, and just pop them in there and take them off to get a little bit of relief. Now, if we take a look here at the middle uh, metal bridge where it folds we can see this nice metal piece and I guess I also do have one more complaint here and that actually has to do with the case even though this is a folding pair of frames our people's does not give you a special folding case which is really really weird and kind of defeats the purpose of having a folding pair of frames if you can't fold them up and put them in the case the folding way uh, now this case is absolutely beautiful it looks really really nice and it does say uh, Mr. Brunello on it I really really do like this case but this is just basically the normal uh, version of the Our People's Brunello Cuccinelli case, but it does of course say the Mr. Brunello, which is a nice touch, but it's not a folding case. You have to fold these frames the traditional way like this, which can actually be a little bit hard to not get them to fold in. Uh, so you fold them in like this and then you pop them in the case. And that's just weird to put a folding pair of frames in a normal case. And I really don't understand why our people didn't uh, create a custom folding case for these frames. Uh, so definitely a little bit annoyed by that as well. If we take a look at the inner right temple of the frames, we can see a really, really beefy uh, hinge, which is really, really, really strong and durable. It's a five barrel hinge, and it's probably one of the most strong hinges that I've ever felt on a pair of frames. Just really, really solid and nice, so I do like that. And then here we can see it says Brunello Cuccinelli, our people's vintage glass and handcrafted in Italy. Now, if we take a look here at the middle uh, metal bridge where it folds, we can see this nice metal piece, which is there to add 
of rigidity to these frames and they definitely do feel very rigid rigid there is just a little bit of play here not a lot but there is a little bit of play nothing too crazy uh, but that metal hinge is definitely going to uh, do a good job of keeping the frame solid even though it's probably the weakest point of a pair of folding frames but this feels really really solid and there are three different lines to it three different sheets of metal to help to protect these frames. Now, if we take a look here at the inner right temple of the frames, we can see the Luxottica core code information. Then we can see it says Mr. Brunel in this really beautiful kind of uh, metallic uh, font. I really, really do like that as well. So overall, I think it's a really good pair of frames, but they definitely have downsides. And it's really annoying to say the words downsides and $800 price tag in the same sentence. When you're paying that much money for a pair of frames, there really shouldn't be any downsides. I guess maybe other than the weight, I can give them a pass for that because you can't make these frames lighter uh, with these beautiful acetate frames and all glass lenses. They're going to have to be a heavy pair of frames. But yeah, pretty big downsides here uh, on this pair of frames uh, with the build quality. But of course, every one of these frames are handmade. So it's really up to the individual person who hand me these frames. Some are going to be better quality control than others. If you're thinking about buying a pair of these frames, I definitely recommend buying them from an authorized retailer. And I'm going to leave a link from below to one that accepts returns. because That's really important. So if you do get a frame in and it's uh, not perfect, you can send them out and get your refund or you can get a new replacement pair. And hopefully that replacement pair will be perfect uh, this pair is definitely going back because it is definitely uh, flawed with the cut not being absolutely perfect and the different uh, sheets of acetate as well making a different colorway so I'm definitely not going to keep these frames but like I said I will leave a link description below to an authorized retailer that I do recommend and they do accept returns as well which is really important when buying a pair of these frames but the build quality is really really good other than that the hinges are really good uh, the acetate is beautiful everything about these frames is really really classy and nice I I do like these a lot, but again, I don't like those downsides. So a kind of a mixed bag as far as my feelings towards these frames. But if you own a pair, let me know what you think about these frames in the comments section below. Now, if you're watching this video and you actually own a pair, make sure to let the community know uh, what you think about it in the comment section down below. Is it flawless? Uh, do you like them? Are they too heavy? What do you think about them? We'd be certainly interested to know in the comment section down below. We can start a conversation there. But overall, like I said, a real mixed bag. I do love the look of these frames and they look really, really good. And I do love the folding aspect of them as well. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you all in the next one.